Welcome everybody to Nine's Corner. I'm Nine. Nice to meet you. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your likes, your subscribes, and all that good stuff that helps my channel. I especially love your comments. And I do read them. Sometimes I take a little break from comments because I'll get one or two that hurt my feelings and then I don't want to get all caught up in my ego. So I just a little bit let a little bit of time go without reading, you know too many of them just so I can give myself a mental break from it but I do read and I do appreciate and it'll be a case of like in a couple of days I'll sit down and I'll just be going through everything and you know answering that's norm my normal way that's how I protect myself I suppose so anyway we are going to talk about the slap that was heard all around the world I don't watch the uh, awards anymore. I'm not really into it. Now, I remember when we were younger and my sister and I would watch the awards or especially like, you know, Miss America or something and you, you know, pretend to ask the question or just be like, I'd like to thank my mom and dad. I mean, I'm sure all of us as kids did that. But um, and I, I do have a little something in common. I got a little mark on my face, but it's because of my dog in case somebody notices I got scratches down. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. And unfortunately for me, half the time is when I'm not expecting it. And she's quite heavy. She thinks she's like a little chihuahua or something, but you know. So let's have a little look together, shall we, about this. What happened when Will Smith went and hit Chris Rock? Now, notice right here, right there, that Will Smith is laughing. Jada looks a little um, more subdued, but she doesn't look angry at this point. And notice that Will Smith is laughing. Ha ha ha. <laughs> laughing. She twists her eyes. Now, it literally takes seconds for Will Smith to walk up above him, uh, walk up on top of Chris Rock, hits him, and then as the video progresses and he goes back to his seat, he goes, keep my wife's effing name out of your mouth. And I'm watching it and I'm thinking, okay, this looks like it's a joke. And then I'm thinking, like, what happened? Like, it was literally seconds and Will Smith kind of just, like, lost it. He was laughing at the joke. It's there. I don't know. It's like, am I the only one that sees this? Let's just watch it right from the very beginning, and I'll, I won't say a word until we watch it the way out, and then we're going to do a reading and find out what's happening here. So let's just watch. He's laughing. He laughed out loud. She rolls her eyes. <laughs> Like, what? Do you guys understand? Like, what was that? That was a, that was a greatest, greatest night in the history of television. Now, Chris Rock did not charge him or go into any kind of charges or anything like that. And I'm really confused. Like, is it something fake? Is it real? Like, the Smiths have been through a lot. You know, they've had their... Um, their, what was it, their, un, what was it, the, how they described, because they supposedly have an open marriage, and she had dated one of her son's friends or something, and they called it an entanglement, that was the word, sorry, and, you know, so there's been a lot about their personal lives, but this was Will Smith's night, I mean, this is the guy who... And I doubt that there's very many people who don't know Fresh Prince from the Fresh Prince show. And, I mean, you know, I pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I yelled to the cab of your home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to take on my role as the Prince of Bel-Air. <laughs> I mean, everybody knew that song, or some of it anyway. And so this is a guy who's had multiple hits, multiple movies. I mean, this man has worked worked and worked to get where he is 
And then on the night of the Academy, he has this situation occur that's just like, what is happening? Was this faked? Was this planned? And I just, it doesn't make sense as to why it would be planned in any way, shape or form. I just think we need to do a reading on the Smiths and we'll look at Rock and see how he really feels. I'd just be interested to see, is this fake? Is this a reaction because he saw his wife? Because, I mean, that's how it seemed to me. If it's not fake, then it must be his reaction to his wife's uneasiness and uncomfortableness with the with the joke and with the... Um, with the subject matter, because it is alopecia. It is, you know, something she can't control. But then, you know, I just wonder, like, if Ricky Gervais was up there, would he go up and hit him? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's why I'm like, is it fake? Because this just does not seem right. It just doesn't seem like it, it goes with his character. But then people are saying there's a background there. But watch the video yourselves and you'll see that he's laughing and then when they pan away from him then he's walking up the stairs so something just seems a little bit strange let's do a reading on will smith let's see what was the reasoning behind last night and we'll just go from there <laughs> So at the base of it, we have the King of Cups. So he was definitely in his emotions. He was definitely feeling like some reason he had to be the man who was protecting his wife, protecting his emotion, her emotions. We've got the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I really believe that if whether it was a hoax or not, we're going to read into this and see where it goes. But I truly believe that Chris Rock felt that he was giving them um, an easy joke. Like he really and truly had no idea that this was would ill affect them. So uh, underneath it all, we have the Queen of Wands. I mean, doesn't this look like Jada? So underneath all of this is that he was responding to his wife's uncomfortableness. She, He was responding and possibly um felt a need to do something more forceful to show her how sorry and apologetic he was because he was so uncomfortable because he laughed i mean in the past we have the page of cups interesting page of cups there was already a conversation with chris rock was it a conversation in which he's told him hey keep my wife's name out of your mouth and this is like he was already pre-warned that look I, i'll i'll get up on i'll get up in your face if you do this or this could be referring to the fact that a lot of people said that it seems like rock has some issues with jada uh page of cups maybe he actually has a liking for jada i i, I don't i don't feel a negative vibe from Chris Rock, I almost feel as though he thought he was giving them a real soft pitch. I think he actually finds her attractive and interesting, but he shows it in a comedic way. Whether you find it funny or not, that's just where his head goes. On top of it, we got the world. Interesting. The world is watching. Okay, we're just going to have to continue with the reading because in one part, I just feel like, is it that the importance of him standing up for his wife and showing it to the world so that he could say, yeah, okay, I'm sorry I laughed, but I didn't even realize what he was saying until I realized what he was saying and then I had to do something. So he was doing it in front of the world stage. But then it also feels there's still this little feeling of there's some fakery going on behind the scenes that maybe some prior knowledge, whether that was an actual plan or he knew that he would get on Will and Jada's nerves by, you know, hitting this nerve or what have you. 
Four of Wands. Happy wife, happy life. Uh, holding on to the stability of his relationship. I kind of get a feeling that this is probably less fake and more for him, Will, overreacting because I think he felt he needed to. Aw, Three of Swords. There's something more happening here that has to do um, with Will and his wife Jada's relationship. Um, I think there's a lot of things that as much as they are the red table, everything's out on the table, we tell everybody everything, they don't. And there's a lot of heartache behind this. There's some, some just crappy stuff happening in the background. And he felt an emotional need to have to do this. People around are the emperor. So they're just looking at this and kind of going, hmm, what was the purpose of this? I think there's sort of, you've got a really strong opinion out there of, you know, either you're with or against him and you feel very strongly in that but this shows me there's a lot of empathy and sympathy towards will um i think that there's uh i think that those who are in the know around him know that he is trying to stabilize the relationship because it's not stable. They're going through some difficult times. He had to show his wife this is... Ooh, justice is there. In a weird way... Okay, there's something strange here because it's like it's planned but it's not planned. And it's like there's a tit for tat here. Like he had to. God, that sounds so stupid. But it's like he had to embarrass himself in order to keep in her good graces that this was. He like. He was laughing about it until he saw her reaction. And it's like he knew he had to do something extraordinary to show that he was in balance and linked up with his wife and worried about her and what she thinks and what she feels. And he just felt that this was justice. So whether it could be a case of like Chris Rock had already talked about the joke with him, obviously the Academy okayed the joke and maybe mentioned it or something like that and all of a sudden this weird reaction came out of it i i really don't know there's something just fishy here come on the moon the moon the moon the moon so they are definitely hiding this this was an over dramatic emotional cuckoo move that he felt that he had to do because this is going further than just um him having a moment this is something that's affecting him his relationship with his wife it was almost like he had no choice it sounds crazy but it's like he realized that he had done wrong to his wife according to his wife she gave him that look of like mm -hmm. so i wish we could see the camera staying on them rather than going back to chris rock so i could see did jada say something because like with justice here it's like are you going to just let this happen like what was the surround of that you know what i mean oh for god's sakes the four of pentacles Jada is doing a number on Will. It's like maybe they have this open relationship. 
but there's st and it's like they're coming out on the red table four of pentacles that's why I, I just got an image of a table coming up and that's the red table did he do this to embarrass himself so that they'd have something about like that just really like is it really that take that little to get something going the knight of wands here is well and the chariot i really strongly feel that this is a case of he after the fact realized that his wife wasn't happy there's something going on in their relationship that's not normal that's not okay that's causing him a lot of stress a lot of depression a lot of heartache i almost get the feeling as though he feels as though he was second choice and he's always fighting and climbing to be first choice to her. He never will be. Never. Interesting read. Okay, this is me coming from the future while I'm editing this video. Unfortunately, I had done a reading on John Roberts, the justice, the chief justice, and for whatever reason, the audio was just in and out. It's unusable. And I'm just too exhausted to do another reading. So I will be doing a future reading on John Roberts, Justice John Roberts. So if you have any questions, leave them below. <laughs> I'm looking at the vibration as it is now. If we see something negative, we need to change it with a good vibration. You know what I'm trying to say. So let's have a look and see. What's happening right now? We've got the Ten of Wands. They're at their breaking point. The poor people. I, I mean, this will show you, this is, is indicating the millions and millions of people that have had to flee their home. They have all their belongings, the little bits that they have, and turning the lights out as they go by. This is the breaking point of losing so many people. You know, they're fighting the good fight. They are at the Ten of Wands. They're holding on. And this gives me, you know, a hope that maybe that with the Ten of Wands, we're coming to the completion of something. So hopefully this war will be a, of a shorter duration and not like years, but we're talking months or even less, hopefully. Like, you know what I mean? Ten, ten of war, March, April, May, June. So at the very base of it is the people, the stress of the people. I'm sorry, I, I when I'm watching the traveling, I can't help but think of like trafficking and things of that nature. There's a lot. It's like all parts of society are at their breaking point. It's got a really sad. Crossing it is temperance. The, the the negotiations, just both sides really strongly wanting what they want. There's this, you know, um, spiritual element to this that it's almost it's it's a case of this was Zelensky's destiny to be part of what's happening in Ukraine at this time. That he is part of this spiritual awakening. He is looking, and it's in the news now, that he has been talking and saying, hey, I'm willing to, to negotiate with temperance, negotiate with Putin. But this, I love, you see this card? It has the angel there. Angel is there guiding, helping. Underneath of it, underneath it, we got the Knight of Wands. Zelensky is strong. He is um, the leader, and he is showing um, to be his strength. And his strength is not in his words, but in his actions. Three of Pentacles, the plan going ahead. There's a lot of moving parts that we're not even aware of. Um, I think that this goes to show that the plan from Putin's point did not work out the way he thought. I think this shows that there was a lot more 
strategic planning on the behalf of Ukraine that they were able to hold this up as, as good as they have been. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So on top of this, the King of Wands, who I believe is Zelensky, is thinking about the stability of his homeland, the stability of the children, the stability of the family. This is looking at um, making an offer, but maintaining your integrity, maintaining um, your viewpoint, but willing to come to the table. Page of Swords. Eh, I'm just going to go with my reading because I've already done the Roberts reading. And if I put that out, you may or may not get mad at me. So it's just well for me to be truthful. I see the Page of Swords here. To me, this is the spy. I think that in the near future, next couple of months, that's going to be the turning point of this war. It's like When I saw the Page of Swords, I got a, a an image of Putin, but it was like um, a wax museum. I remember we went to a wax, uh, wax museum during Christmas, and I had a picture taken with Trump. If I can find them, I'll include a couple of them. But anyway, as soon as I flipped this card, I got a wax image of Putin. I think there's a spy in Putin's camp. There's a spy in Putin's camp. A plan to temper out things. And the spy. Six of Cups. Uh... This would be Putin relying on the past, thinking that all that I do is do the same things I did in the past and things will work out. But that is not the case. That's not the case. People. Ooh. The people around, we got the Eight of Wands. So there's definitely a want to get this over quickly. The Eight of Wands, there's going to be news. That, it's like things are going to happen. It's like... Once the ball starts rolling, it's going to roll really quickly. It's going to be over quickly. And with Eight of Wands, there's going to be all this upset happening. There's going to be a number of things happening all at once. Outside forces are going to help, whether indirectly or not. They're going to help. So... <laughs> we could be looking at a quicker turnaround. You know... Because the Eight of Wands, and if we go back to the reading we did about April, eight is the number of power, money, power, money, power moving quickly, therefore getting this situation over more quickly. I really feel like it's like literally months before this comes to a conclusion, like, you know, by... May or June, you'll be seeing things come to some kind of conclusion. It's just all of the points of interest that are going to happen between now and then. Oh. Putin is the devil. Um, he doesn't care. He'll go after the children. He wants to break up Ukraine. He wants to see the end of NATO. He wants to leave his mark no matter what that looks like. He's lost it. He's lost it. Look, here's Zelensky being strong, passionate. And here's Putin, the devil, the drowning. End result.
the wheel of fortune. I'm just sitting here watching the wheels go round and round. Holy sugar. Why is that song coming up? No longer fighting a miracle. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to have to chop this up because I'm taking way too long. But it's like if you just, my mind is being impacted. I got that song. <sighs> John Lennon's The Wheel. Um, I think that Putin is running out of time. I think that there's a lot more plans going on behind the scenes that we are not even aware of. I think that there's going to be a lot of movement in April that's going to have to do with power. And I don't think that's exclusive to just this situation. I think we're going to have some um, stories coming out about politicians. I think we're going to hear a lot more information coming out about politicians. I think that Putin is... Uh, possibly going to be poisoned. What that looks like, I do not know. I'm not saying poison as in literal poison. I'm just saying that his the wheel has turned. It's it's like I'm I got the wax museum feeling, like a picture of him, like a wax museum, almost like in a glass. I don't like to use the, I just can't help it. It's what I'm feeling and I just, tonight it's like I'm feeling like I'm doing the reading and it's giving me all these other stuff that I wasn't intending and it's, I just, do I put it out? Do I? Putin is one of the worst humans because his want to hurt everything and destroy everything is so strong that I almost feel as though something's in the works. The wheel has is turning and Putin needs to be on guard. There's a spy in the, like, I feel it so, so strongly. Putin knows this already. Putin knows his ending is coming. Okay, I gotta get out of this. I can't. It's just too much for me. Please. Let's just like clean my cards because no, that was really heavy, heavy read. All right, let's just clean up our energy here. We definitely need to clean up the energy because I felt transfixed by that. Okay, they were some really heavy readings. I felt some really dark energies that needed to come forward because they were present in the story. So I actually have my, my smudge going right now so that any negative energy that was been put out will be cleared from us immediately. So... As always, I have our Unity Candle lit for each and every one of us. And until the next time we chat, cheerio. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, and leave comments. And nice comments, not bad comments. Because I know my my readings were heavy and I, I get scared because sometimes I think, oh, I felt that and it was really good reading. And then all of a sudden I'm reading the comments and they're not so happy. <laughs> so I can just read the cards. That's all. That's all. That's all. All right. Cheerio. Bye.